Hello, this is Tate with Blackbird Outdoors, blackbirdoutdoors.net. Continuing on with our preparedness videos and organic gardening tips. This is one, and it looks a little weird, but this is what we call a CO2 generator. Now, what it basically does is as we drew the little face on our bottle here, it basically re replaces the human factor in a small greenhouse. So we have a little, you know, two by four greenhouse that basically traps out all of our natural air that's being blown through there. So if we add carbon dioxide and light to the um, to the mix, it actually helps in the photosynthesis process. So the one thing we've started out with here is a two liter soda bottle that we've washed out with hot water and cleaned all out. We've put uh, three quarters of a cup of sugar, one tea, uh, teaspoon of yeast, and six cups of hot water. Now what that does is it actually is creating carbon dioxide gas, which is raising up, coming out the top of the tube here, and dumping into our second bottle. Now this bottle right here, we've just drilled a hole in top, we use a little aqua seal, and this tubing is off of a fish tank aerator. Now, we've ran the hose all the way down to the very bottom, and as you can see, the air bubbles are slowly popping out. Now, if you don't see air bubbles right away, that's okay. It usually takes about an hour for everything to really get working properly, and you have to let it set without really a lot of movement. And that's what you're going to get this consistent three to five second bubble that's actually coming up. So, if we watch it real close, we should see another one here in, within about five seconds. That's kind of the amount we want to have happen. Now, the reason we put in the second bottle here is it has one hose that's going all the way down to the very bottom of the pipe. That's coming directly from our hose here, or from our tank. And the second one is just very, it's almost at the very top. You know, you don't need a bottle this big. I just used recyclable bottles that I had. So... And this happened to be one that I had in my recycle bin. Now the second hose comes up, and this is the hose that you actually attach to your fan inside of your greenhouse. And we'll show you that in our next video. Or this is, you know, part one of part, you know, two two parts. Now the reason I show you this other glass, and we just put it in the glass. You don't need the, you know, the glass is just to show you that it is basically every time that this bottle bubbles you should roughly see a bubble on the other side. Now that's basically happening at that same pace, about three to five seconds, you get a bubble. And what we're gonna do is actually zip tie that to back of our mini fans inside of our greenhouse. And that's gonna flow CO2 through the whole thing. Now you can take this out at night if you want and just keep it in during the day because it's only gonna work during the time that you have light on the, on the actual greenhouse. So we usually do it during the day, and then we have lights to go all the way through the night. You know, give it about 13 to 14 hours of light every day. So that's our CO2 generator. It is a really super simple, easy build. Fun thing to do with your kids if you like that, that they can kind of help. And like I said, it really does help dose those plants with that CO2 because that's what they're lacking inside there. They're making oxygen, and we're making the actual air. So that's something that's being left out inside that situation, which this really helps dose those plants and really get them to grow a lot better. All right, if you have any questions, feel free to contact us at blackbarrowdoors.net.